Welcome back to Fresh Start. We're in our counterpoint segment, mm-hmm. having conversation with conscientious teacher, <laughs> Mr. Wayne Campbell, who had penned an article entitled The Doomed Marriage of Education and Poverty. I'm putting him on the spot. Just before our break, I'd said to him, here you are in conscience, raising this matter of the, the, the challenges that our core face. But what are you going to do about it? It's one thing to raise the conversation. Is there more that you can do, Wayne, or we must just have the conversation and move right along? Having a conversation is very important. What we go on beyond having a conversation is we have to engage the practical Yes. To turn around when we need support. One thing that I try to do, I share my personal experience of my personal story with my students. Yes. I also, I also give back at school in terms of I'm a part of the reading club. Oh, so okay. Like many, many students for the boys need to come up with reading. Many boys, many men that they don't like reading. Uh, true. So so do you read the Lano? I read heavily. Yes. Right. But yes. No. Yes. Yes. your blog okay well i've been here tweeting out your things since morning what's your twitter handle please sir what how could you not well so you need to get the twitter you can't have that well, your name your name your name all over twitterverse because uh, yeah. i've sent you out um in fact um our producer kim has actually um made sure to send tweets out from at fresh start too mm-hmm. so the next time we speak with you because i'm sure you'll have another article that you'll write that we will have conversation with you on we'd want to know that we can say and follow way in on twitterverse at consciouswayne.com how much so <laughs> All right, but you know, you know, maybe it's a politician and me who likes to deal with organization. I I would want to encourage you to look at where there may be other persons within your profession, your calling, who have the same matters resting on their head, resting mm-hmm. on their conscience, on their heart, and see how you can begin a network of conversation and change. That's really, really where I'd like to drive this conversation about the doomed marriage of education and poverty. Mm-hmm. Because in the yeah, in the in the in the constituency that I had the privilege to represent in what was former South Central or Eastern Saint Catherine, there's much change that we were able to um, to influence by a marriage between the church, community institutions. Um, I think of, for example, in New Testament Church in um, Central Village where we had a homework program excellent homework program still underway we put in a learning center at the church itself um what well, one very interesting project that we undertook we and i say we because it was instituted by the church um brother peku at the time and and christopher Pierre, um who wanted to do this camp only for boys in the summer for two weeks and we got we have had the support of tankwell for years for this so you got institutional support in terms of private sector, mm-hmm. the church itself in terms of organization, um, JSIF giving support, myself as MP giving support, and looking for where the other institutions within the community, such as uh, Wisinko and Lasco, that help to ensure that for two weeks, and we have seen a significant drop in crime in that community. We do it straight up to, to 18, straight up. So from the little ones, I mean, you start with, you look at from six to, to 18, but you find the little ones come too. So you see the little bits running around the bigger ones, but you know what's important? Those, they, so, those little ones are on the street. 
but the bigger people too. So what you're doing in, in defined space is crafting a change program that influences a shift in behavior, a change in attitude. And you see it. You see, I've seen a difference in the, in the boys' walk, talk, and how they relate to each other. I'm not saying they're angels. I'm not saying oh, that. But there's a difference, that conversation that's taking place with them, that's changing yeah. their attitude yeah. to each other in the community in yeah. terms of dispute, in terms of just how they relate to each other. It's not perfect yet, mm -hmm. but it's working. But well, let me ask you, I mean, that's really this sort of pervasive um, sense of hopelessness that, that you pick up all over Jamaica. I mean, when you talk to the young people, there's a sense that, you know, it doesn't make sense to stay here. Um, everybody, well, not everybody, but most of the persons you come across would want an opportunity to leave Jamaica to, 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 to make a living. I mean, how, how does that impact uh, your, your, own, your own views uh, on education here in Jamaica? Because I mean, even people who are highly educated are, 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 are wanting to leave. Um, but they're going to, to build the wealth of other yes. people's space. Yeah. But, but that's a whole other discussion. It's, it's, really it's, a, it's a cut on drawing. Mm -hmm. Desire. Yes. So last week, a colleague of mine, he resigned yes. and um, he left. Yes. He resigned, really? Left. Where he Where is he and gone he to? Yeah, migrated. He lost. Where is he, he gone? Uh, he went to the US. Mm -hmm. He went to the US. Yeah, I find that. He's a person yes. who, who has an honors degree from UWI as well as a trained teacher. Yes. Very young man, and I mean, in talking with colleagues as well, you, you hear that sense of hopelessness and despair. And given the opportunity, they would also um, fly out, so to speak. So I don't know. We, we need we, we need to do better in terms of holding our human capital because if we yes. don't, if, if our brightest and best minds migrate, yes. we are we are doomed. But but I think we can even even though even though they are left and are leaving though you know um, Wayne maybe something that we can think about in this last minute uh, before we close mm -hmm. off is how do we maintain that link with them <clears throat> in terms of if they are in that other space and there's there is stuff we can learn from them and keep that network because we, Skype exists we can pull them into our classroom space yes right, right. is this not something that we can look at and and deepen the discourse into the practicality of the net. Mm -hmm. Is that... Is